Sasha Durkin here at Hale Varsity Club, standing next to Brendan Stey, former offensive lineman for Nebraska. Can you talk to me about the importance of putting this event together and what the relationship with Pipeline Jerky, how that came to be and why that's also important? I tell you what, um, this has been something that's been a long time coming. Um, this group of guys, it's an intentional relationship and it's, it's hard to find these days. Um, we shared something pretty special. Um, you know, and back then when we, we thought about kind of setting ourselves apart, um, it was more about not necessarily us, it was the team, right? And really kind of being that figurehead of the team, but also offensive linemen around the country. And so took a lot of pride in it. And, and uh, it's, it's, it really took us a, a lot longer than I thought it would to get organized on it. And so with some relationships that we've had uh, uh, down the line, uh, we've kind of connected the dots and, and uh, collaborated together. And so this is the beginning of something that I think uh, can turn into a really good thing. Um, obviously, offensive line play again, uh, but also uh, for us, you know, if, if we get to a point to where we, we feel like uh, we can make a difference in a scholarship or something like that at Nebraska is very important. Yeah, and how important is NIL and how that changes things, especially like when I was talking to the to Dave and Zach with Pipeline Jerky, they mentioned how important it is, especially for like in-state relationships with businesses and NIL, and then focusing specifically on offensive linemen. How important is that? Well, it's a game changer now. Uh, it's really changed the, the landscape and, and how guys are recruited and retained. And when you have the ability to offer something like NIL uh, with that kind of market, it's, it's, it's going to be an important part of recruiting. What has it been like working with Matt Rule and what is different about him that he's creating, like using to create this culture around Nebraska football? Well, you hit it on the head. The culture, uh, when he first came in, and it wasn't necessarily just football, as he was outreaching to all athletics. Um, here's a guy that's been through it. Uh, he has a blueprint of having success. Um, it's not about him. It's about the team. It's about developing young men. And he's just been a wonderful guy to work with. Uh, very humble. Um, you know, I love his approach with the guys. He's firm, but he's fair. And he's going to give everybody a shot. And he really believes in, I think he's really done a lot of work in trying to understand what Nebraska, Nebraska football, Nebraska athletics is about. And he's bought in. And I think uh, if you were to really kind of categorize one word with his staff and the way that they're approaching uh, going into this next season is accountability. That's, I know you hear that a lot. Never, it's a lot of common language, which is which is super promising. You always kind of want to see that. I think. I do have to ask you about that '94 season, that offensive line. How important are those, like those lasting relationships? Obviously, you guys are still very tight as a group of people. Um, what are what are your best memories from that season and and those lasting relationships that have come from it? Well. You know, the season was, uh, we, we went through our trials and tribulations with injuries and so overcame a lot of adversity. That's what I, I reflect upon. Uh, played a lot of football after that game. Um, but that game in and of itself, I remember every snap. I remember every play. It's just something that will never go away for me. And, you know, it was a culmination of really two hard years of work from the same guys, same group of guys, and uh, some other guys as well. Bill Humphrey, um, you know, uh, we, we had just quite a few guys that were right there that could play, and you saw it the next year. And that was probably the impact that we had as an offensive line. I thought, you know, the next year everybody was like, oh, well, there's going to be a huge drop off. Those guys came in and played at a high level. And, it's debatable. They might have played a little bit better than us. I mean, statistically, the, the, the numbers they put up was pretty impressive. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you.